Alfonso Mosca. Um, so he's going to go ahead and share the Atomy vision. So let thank you. Um. <laughs> thank you so much. It, it it is such an honor to be with you today. I had uh, a huge pleasure of being able to interact with uh, with David with Osuk uh, at uh, the last Success Academy, and uh, and it's just an honor because you know I, I want to share with you a little bit about really Adami's vision and how it became real in my life. Okay, because you know I was one of the people that was totally against anything network marketing. I would say no, 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 I stay away. And because I was a traditional business person, uh, you know, I had my own marketing and advertising agency before I met Atomy, um, and I was doing well. I didn't have really a, a need for money. I was blessed, thankfully. And so when uh, when my sponsor came and talked to me about Atomy, I said, no, 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 no. I'm not interested in those types of businesses. I, I used to say that business is for people that don't know how to do business. But he said, but you have to try the products. And I said, you know what? I'll try the products. That's fine. Let me try the products. So he got me with the products because after I tried the first two products that I bought, I was completely sold on the brand because I said, if, if the brand, if these two products, which mind you, the two products were the toothpaste and the toothbrush. And I said, if something so simple can be such good quality. It just get, it made me curious about what else the company produced. So the point is, I became an auto consumer before I even decided to do the business. And I'll let you in on a little secret. My sponsor was my father-in-law. So I had to buy the products. I had no choice. I had to buy it. He told me, buy these products. I had to buy the products. So initially, I did it just to, to be on the good side, right, of my father-in-law. But then once I actually tried it, I fell in love. So the thing is, I had been buying the product for a while. He would tell me about the business. Hey, look, very there's very good business in this. You have to listen. I would say, no, 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 no. Thank you, but I like the products. Well, what happened is uh, when the pandemic hit, right, Corona, COVID, my business, my marketing and advertising business went completely downhill. From one month to the next, I lost 100% of my clients. Okay. So when that happened, I was left with nothing. This was in March of 2020. And during that time, my father-in-law, my sponsor came and said, Alfonso, you have to try this business. Trust me, now is the time to try it. I said, no, no, let me try to revive my business. So I was working, trying to get it back up. It wasn't working during COVID. There was just, we couldn't interact. People were scared. They weren't spending. And then what happened is around May of 2020, I went ahead and I said, you know what? I have nothing to lose. I'm not going to be able to turn this around right now. And so I told my sponsor, I said, tell me how the business works. And I decided to listen. And sometimes it's a timing issue with people. Sometimes you talk to them about it now. Right. And you tell them and they say no. Right. And so I love what what our uh, leaders say, crown masters, royal masters, is you keep telling them until they say yes. You keep telling them until they decide to go to a, a, a success academy. You keep being persistent until you get the you get a, an answer and you get a result. So what happened? My upline, that's exactly what he did. My sponsor was on me. And so what happened when it came down to the right moment at the right time, I said, you know what? I have nothing to lose. I'm going to go 100% in this business. And then I took the time to listen, right? And then I understood the business that we had. I said, oh my gosh, this is an international business. They don't ask me for any investment up front. The, 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 I have no levels. I can continue growing. And you're telling me that I can do this all and start it right now during the pandemic from my living room? He said, yes. I said, wow. And so that's when I decided, I said, you know what? 100% commitment. I'm going to go in. Now, when I started, okay, and my situation may be a little bit different than yours. When I started, I knew a lot of people in Colombia during that time. I knew a lot of people in Colombia. And so, and I knew, and so I started reaching out. I started telling them about the, the company. The company wasn't available in Colombia yet. It wasn't open. 
they were it was in pre-registration but i said look there's a huge opportunity it's going to open this year because it was going to open in 2020 and so i said let's go let's build i wasn't making any money during this period of time my car was repossessed my electric was shut off i had no money coming in at all i was betting 100 percent on atomy and I was hoping Columbia was going to open soon because I was doing so much work over there. The point is that it ended up opening. And ever since, everything that I worked during that period of time were seeds. I think, I think the biggest problem and the biggest obstacle for people is patience. Because we live in a world where we, where we want everything now. Right. It's very simple. You want to know something, you pick up your iPhone or you pick up your Android and you just search it on Google and you have it immediately at your fingertips. So we have been accustomed. We have been programmed to want things now. And what we what we don't understand is that in this business is there is a process of building. There is a process of sowing. We are planting seeds. Se seeds do not turn into trees right away. They do not turn into plants right away. They have to be watered. They have to be cared for. You have to be attentive, right? And I'll tell you, I, I live in Texas. I live in Dallas. This last summer was so hot, so hot, okay? We had temperatures of 110 for like two months straight, okay? I have a garden in my backyard, killed all my plants, all my plants. But also during that time, I had my kids in Taekwondo. I had my, my kids in basketball. I had my kids in volleyball. So I was always around and out and about. And I was doing meetings and I was meeting with, with, with my partners. And so I didn't give my garden the attention that it needed. And so because of that, it died. It didn't die because it couldn't have survived. No, it was because I wasn't attentive. So every single one of us working in this business, okay, it is super important. You and we have to understand this is our business. If we do not focus on our business, the business can die. It will not grow. If, if we are not attentive to our business, there is no water that's going to that seed. There is no care that's going to that seed. And so we can't expect that we're going to have the results that we want if we're not caring for the garden that we are planting. This is a process, right? But the upside is that if you plant and you take care of that garden and you plant multiple seeds, if you're patient and you're consistent with the care of that garden, you're going to sow a lot, right? So it's effort in the beginning to be able to harvest in the end in large amounts. So we have to be able to be focused, especially in the beginning, okay? And an example that I, that I, that I love to give on this is uh, think of an airplane, right? We all, we've all heard how, you know, Chairman Park is, the, the pilot of the plane, right? Okay, now, now I wanna give you an example. A plane, in order to take off, off the runway, it needs to get to about 300 kilometers per hour, okay? If not, the plane will not take off. And I see that this business is, we are all pilots, okay? We are all pilots in this business. And you know what happens? Most people have only been passengers their entire life. Most people have only been employees their entire lives. And so what happens is the minute that they take the pilot seat, all of a sudden they're super excited, right? And then if, if you start to reverse the plane, right, out of the taxiway, you're like, oh my God, the plane is moving. The plane is moving, I'm so excited, right? This is the first start of the business. It's when you get your first person that you register and you're like, oh my gosh, it's going. It's going, people are responding, right? And then we get our way to the runway and we start to accelerate on the gas, right? We start to press down the gas. We're at, 50, we're at 50 kilometers per hour, 80 kilometers per hour, 100 kilometers per hour. And then you know what? Something in life happens. Whatever it may be. It may be that I have a family situation. It may be that I have a financial situation. It may be that I have a personal situation, a relationship situation. And all of a sudden, you know what the natural human reaction is? To let your foot off the gas. That's the natural reaction is I need to let my foot off the gas. So what happens? You were going 80 kilometers per hour. Now you're going 70. Now you're going 60. Now you're going 50, right? And then your situation passes after a month and you say, I'm back in Atomy. You're still starting from zero. You have to pick up the steam again. You have to put the velocity again. 
So the biggest killer of people in this business is the lack of consistency. It is the biggest killer because consistency creates momentum and momentum creates the explosive results that we want. You, you probably have heard this quote, success loves velocity. Success likes speed, right? So the only way for that airplane to take off, off that runway, is you have to maintain a steady speed of acceleration until you hit maximum velocity of 300 kilometers per hour, and then that plane can take off. What happens to most people in this business is the plane that they're driving is a 747, super decked out, the best technology, which is Atomy. That, that is the plane that they're driving. But the problem is that they're going up and down on their speed, up and down on their speed, up and down on their speed. And so they never reach the velocity to take off. You know what happens? The runway ends before the plane can take off. And then you start to hear people saying, you know what? I, I, it's just, it wasn't for me. I just didn't have success. I just did it. And then you really look at what, they, what, what it is that they were doing and they were never consistent. Never consistent. It was up and down, up and down, up and down. The only way to reach critical velocity, maximum velocity, is you have to stay consistent. And the most important part is in the beginning. The beginning part of this business is the most crucial part. Let me ask you a question. How many of you guys have flown in, in an airplane before? All right, Myung, I see you. Yes, yes, yes. Kelly, yes. all right. Okay, so a, a few of you have, have flown on planes. Kathy, I see you as well, okay? So as an example, when you've been on the plane and the plane takes off, let's say it just barely takes off, have you ever seen the pilot come out to go to the bathroom? No. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely not. If you ever saw that, that pilot should be fired, okay? Never. You want to know why? Because the takeoff process is the most crucial part of when the plane takes off. It's when the pilot needs to be the most focused because it's when the plane can stall. It's when a lot of things can happen where the plane will not get to where it needs to get, right? At the level of, at the height. In this business, it is exactly the same. A lot of times, you know what happens is we start off and we're going and we're going and we're going and we're building momentum and it's like, wow, we're seeing results. And then we reach a goal that we wanna reach and then we drop our guards. And then it's like, oh, I made it. Yeah, okay, I can calm down. I can, I can relax a little bit, right? And the pilot cannot relax when the plane takes off. That is the most crucial moment because you have to be aware of everything. Now, once you get to a certain altitude, once a pilot gets to 10,000 feet, it is much easier. It is not as difficult. It's easier to go to... 20,000 feet from 10,000 feet, right? But what happens is the intimidating thing is a lot of times is people are still on the ground. They're like, how am I going to get into the air? Right? How am I going to fly? The only way to be able to get off the ground is through consistency. And this carries on throughout, I think, our entire uh, career in Atomy, especially if your dreams are big. How many of you guys have big dreams? Mm -hmm. I tell people. Yeah. I tell people, if you're going to dream, dream big, because it doesn't cost you anything additional to dream big. It is free. So if we're going to dream, dream big, dream big. And that's part of that. That's part of, of, of uh, really focusing in on the, our, our, uh, oh my gosh, I want to say it in Spanish, el escenario de vida. Our, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Nice escenario. Thank you so much, Marlene. Yes, our life scenario. <laughs> it was coming to me only in Spanish. Uh, our life scenario. Our life scenario is so key. I have updated my life scenario many times. When I first, uh, when I first started in the business, my life scenario was to get a house. I bought my house. Now it's now I want something else, and it's constantly pushing yourself, right? But the the only thing that's going to allow you to take off the way that you want you that you want to take off is that consistency. It's having patience and it's doing the daily work. Right? How do you build a house? Okay. One brick at a time. Right? You can say, oh my gosh, building a brick house is going to be too large. No, it's one brick at a time. Every person that we start telling about and we start sharing Atomy products, it is one brick at a time that we're starting to build a house. Impossible that we're going to get to, I'm sure everybody would like to make a million dollars like an Imperial Master, right? 
but we have to take the steps accordingly. And there's a process that we have to go through and there's a price that, that, that we pay. Nothing that is good in life comes easy. Well, I'm going to go real quick back. So I did the business. I started, I focused, I was consistent because I always understood the explosive ability and press and chairman park talks about this when it comes to hydraulic presses, right? Air is not powerful, but when you compress air, you can lift tons. Right. That is the that that is the law of velocity and compression. So when you compress the time that you put the work in, your results are explosive. So if you want explosive results, if you have big dreams, you have to compress the time. You have to minimize. You cannot extend what you would normally do in a year. You have to bring it down to four months. What does that mean? Yeah, it means that I'm going to work like I've never worked before. <laughs> but you know what the beautiful thing is, is that you are working for you and your family for nobody else. You're working for what you wanna what you want to obtain. So we're not working for a boss. We're not working to build somebody else's dream. We're working for our own dream, right? So uh, when I did and went through that process, I said, oh my gosh, because then when Columbia opened and then things started expanding, I, I started actually tasting the honeys that Adamy has to offer, that first fruit that Adamy has to offer. And I said, oh my gosh, this thing is real. That was my first thing, I had my doubts. In the beginning, I'm not going to lie. I, ha I had my doubts and I said, you know what? Let me try it. Okay, let me see. Let me see what this is like. And I can tell you 100%, if you're still in the process of building, the biggest mistake that you can make is simply stopping. That's why That's why Chairman Park always says it would be a miracle if you do not have success in the attitude. Because if you just simply keep going, if you simply do not stop, if you're simply consistent, you'll find success here in anatomy. 100%. Now, what does, what does that look like? What does that consistency look like? It's funny because, you know, right now, uh, uh, Adamy and, and Chairman Park are talking about, you know, talking to 100 people a day, right? Reaching 100 people a day. And back when I started, I didn't have that knowledge. I didn't have that background, but I had a sales background. And so for me, I knew that it was all a numbers game. In order for me to find people, I had to talk to a certain number of people. That's how sales is, right? So I was talking, and I'm not joking, to 100 people plus a day when I started in order to get people interested. And so I understand and acknowledge and 100% agree that this business is done in that way. You don't have to know a bunch of people because we're surrounded by people. So there's people all around us. I don't need to know every single person that I decide to offer this because you know what? Every single person in this world uses everyday care products or personal care products. Everybody bathes, everybody shampoos their hair, everybody cooks, everybody is looking to take care of themselves, especially in the society that we live in, which is an influencer society. Right, a lot of social media. People want to look good. People want to feel good. People want to build muscle. Right? We've got supplements. We got vitamins. We got so we have what people need. And so I understood. All I have to do is open up my mouth. I realized that this my store is not the Atomy website. My store is my mouth. I open up my mouth and my store is open. So you know what? This store doesn't close ever. It's open twenty four hours a day. The minute that I want to open up the store, the store opens. And that is such a huge benefit because if you had your own physical store, you'd have to get up, drive your car, go over there, open it, turn the lights on. This store is open 24 hours a day, which means that if I'm at the grocery store, I can open it. If I'm at the gas station, I can open it. If I'm at the nail salon with my wife, I can open it. The only thing we have to do is open it. <laughs> Unfortunately, nobody can do that for us. We can only do that ourselves. So ultimately, the success of this business falls on us, on nobody else. The success of what we, what we obtain in our Atomy business is not up to our leaders. It's not up to the people down below us. It's up to us because we must take the action to open up our store, which is our mouth, every single day. And if we do that every single day, you know what? You're also going to be doing the eight successful habits, right? The eight habits of success. Part of that is sharing the plan every single day. So if we're opening up our store every single day, then that's the most likely way that we're going to have sales every day. 
right? If a store does not open, there is no possible way that it can have sales. Impossible. The store must open. So in our business, we don't have a physical store. We understand that our store is our mouth. If we are not opening our mouths every single day, opening up our store, letting people know there is no way that people are going to know, there's no way that people are going to register, there's no way that there's going to be sales. So who's responsible? Us. And I understood that from the very beginning because I love the fact that Atomy was very similar to a franchise model. I, I love that because you know what? It, you can take McDonald's. Yeah, there's corporate, right? But most McDonald's that you see are franchisees, right? They're franchise owners. So that means that they have to follow a certain methodology, but they're independent. They can run local campaigns and local things, right? The success of that McDonald's location is not based on corporate. The success of that McDonald's location is based on, based on that franchisee. Franchisee needs to move around, get people going around their community, do community service. I mean, get out there. That's what that McDonald's needs to do in order to be able to thrive in that community. If not, that McDonald's is going to close and it's not McDonald's corporate's fault. It was the franchise owner. That is how this business works. Now, the great thing is that in addition, without having to think about it, there's so many ways that, yeah, sure, there's blessings and things that ca can happen from the top and people that you have in your organization that aren't that you didn't register. But this business is from you down. It's from me down. And that that's what get, creates ownership. When you take ownership of your business, you really start to actually do what you need to do in order to generate the results that you're looking to get because you stop depending on what everybody else is doing and you take things into your own hands. And that's what I did because I didn't know any different. I, you know, what I, I had a marketing agency. I never had anybody help me. Nobody ever guided me. I lost money trying things out and doing things. And I get to add me and I see so many people that help. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. People here actually help you. They guide you. They show you. So consistency is super key because when you think about it, as you grow in this business, what I love about Atomy is that you're never alone. You always have somebody that's there to guide you. You always have somebody that's there to help you. And what I most loved about Atomy is you grow as a person in this business. And what actually brings about the growth to your business is your growth as a person. Your personal growth impacts your business growth. If you are growing as a person, if you are adopting the right mentality, if you are listening to the right people, if you are following the right advices, you're going to have 100% success without a doubt. Like what I love about Atomy is that the formula is foolproof. The problem is a lot of people don't like to follow the formula. They try to, you know, they try to get if two plus two is four, they try to do two plus one plus 0.73 is four, and it's not four, and it won't give you the same results. So we have a system in place. And through this process, there's obstacles. The one thing that I've realized is that uh, you know, because we are human beings, because it's his life, we go through a roller coaster. And most of the things that that affect us in the business not always come from the business. They come from our own personal life, right? And that's why the discipline is so important. We have to create discipline. We have to develop discipline because discipline is what keeps us doing something, even if I don't feel like it. And the great thing is that if you pair discipline with your why, with your life scenario, if you pair your discipline with your why, you will be unstoppable. Because one, you create the habit of doing it no matter what. It doesn't matter if I feel tired. It doesn't matter if I feel sad. I'm going to do it. But you also pair that, right? You pair that discipline with, uh, with the fact that my why is my family. Every time that I don't feel like doing something, I think of my kids. That's what comes to me. My why is my kids. And every time I think of not doing it, I think about what are my kids going to think of me? My kids were watching me right now work. How would they think of me? That's my why. And so now for me, it is impossible. It is very difficult for me to do that because if not, I'm letting my kids down, right? I'm letting, I'm letting my family down because they are my why. Okay. So realistically is we have to have things clear. That's why one of the, one of the first steps in the eight steps to success, right? Is knowing where you're going. What's your goal? 
Can you imagine if you were to jump into a taxi? Marlene, have you ever taken a taxi before? Yes. <laughs> what would happen if you jump into that taxi and the taxi says, where to? And you say, I don't know, just drive me around. What is that taxi driver going to do? He's going to drive you around, right? Correct. You know what he's going to do? He's going to waste a lot of money for you. And he's going to waste a lot of time for you. And most likely where he's going to drop you off, you're still going to be lost because you're going to have no idea where you're at. When we go about in life, not having our destination clear, not having our goals clear, what we're trying to accomplish, just because you're busy doesn't mean that you're productive. We could be very busy and not be productive because we have no destination. We don't know where we're going, right? So what do we want to do? We want to know exactly where we're going. So that way, when you know where you're going, you tell that taxi driver, you know what? I'm going to this address and it's going to be the shortest distance to there, right? So what do you want? What's the goal that you want? When I when I started Adam, I said, I, want, I, I need a minimum of four bedroom house. I want a two story and I want vaulted ceilings. That's what I said, because that's what my wife said. <laughs> so I was repeating what my wife wanted. I'm like, that's what I want. Adamy helped me get that goal. I have vaulted ceilings, two story, and I have five bedrooms, not four. And that was right at the very beginning. Now my goal is I want a property with 10 acres, farmland, and I want to have space. That's the goal that I'm working on. But it's because we have to have a destination. If I don't have a goal to work towards, then I'm just wandering aimlessly. I'm working aimlessly, thinking that I'm advancing, but I'm not really advancing towards anything. So that's why the, the that's why the the life scenario is so important. Now, what do I see? Ultimately, in in uh, everything that I've been hearing now with in a lot of the seminars, the Success Academy, it really is the core of of what's needed to have success in this business, and that is the company model. And I really truly mean that because you know what, this is a business. The currency of this business is people. This business moves on people, on personalities, on characters, okay? But it's human beings. And ultimately, if we do not have the best interest of that humans, that human being's uh, heart or what their, need, what, what their needs are at heart, we're not going to serve them to the level that we need to serve them. The thing that I, one of the big things that I love about Atomy, regardless of whatever your religious belief is, is that it got something right on the head. And it's the fact that this business is about serving. This business is about serving. When you put others, pe other people's lives and priorities and goals before your own, you naturally get blessed by that. You naturally make money off of that. But the key in this business is to truly care. Because you know what? You're going to find people that don't think like you, that don't agree with the things that you agree with, that have a harsher personality, that may be more intense than you, that are constantly messaging you. There's everything because we're so many different types of personalities, right? But the people that are the most successful are the ones that learn to work with everybody. The people that don't take things personally. A lot, I'll be honest with you, you know what's really helped me? Because it was very difficult in the beginning. I started dealing with people that, you know, sometimes could be mean. <laughs> I'm like, what did I do? You know what, you know what at the end of the day, I think is, is when you really have a heart to serve, right? You have compassion for people. And it doesn't matter. Whenever people respond a negative way, it's usually because they have something else behind. Maybe they had a bad day that day. Maybe they're going through things. And if you really put yourself in that situation, you will respond differently to that person. Right. Instead of responding back a certain way, you'll say, you know what, how can I serve this person more? How can I make their life easier? And you can think, what do I get out of it? Honestly, you get the, you get the, you get the blessing of being able to serve somebody else. The fact that you put somebody else's priorities before you. And I think that if we can adopt that mentality, and I know that it's very hard for, for, for a lot of us, but if we can truly serve with our whole heart, you will accomplish amazing things in this business. It will be secondary. You're not only going to get the, 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 the blessing of being able to serve people, of being able to be rewarded from that, but you're going to make money in the process as well. So a servant's attitude, in my opinion, is huge in this business. Somebody who is willing to serve their peers before serving their own interests 
is somebody who thrives anatomy. I see it time and time again. And I can tell you from seeing left, from seeing right, from seeing up, from seeing all over the place, the people that generate the most money and that are blessed in this business are the ones that give wholeheartedly without worrying about whether that person is going to give to them back. That's why I say that the company model is so much more because you can be extremely knowledgeable. You could watch a, every ABR course. You could watch every video that, that Chairman Park has. But if you don't have love in your heart, if you don't have the ability to be able to serve, it will not serve you here. You will not have success. I can tell you, I've seen it. <laughs> it does not work. So you have to understand, one, we're in the best business in the world. This company is doing things unlike ever, any other company. We're not trying to copy the rest of the MLM industry. We're not trying to copy the rest of the network marketing industry. The players that we are looking to compete with are players that are leading in the most amount of money in this world. We're talking about distribution hubs like Amazon, distribution hubs like Alibaba, distribution hubs like Walmart. That is who we consider ourselves or who we consider our competition. We're not playing with, with, with the minor leagues. And the one thing that Atomy has gotten right is the fact that we have quality products, products that not only can you give to somebody, and sometimes you could be a mime, not say anything, just give product, and it will still sell because it's so good. So we have the channel, right? The only thing that we have to do, you and I, and it doesn't matter if we are sales masters, diamond masters, Sharon Rose masters, star masters, it, it really doesn't matter. We open our, our stores every single day. Every single day. And you know what? As leaders, as leaders, and this includes anybody, the thing is that if you have a left group and a right group, you are leading that group. You have that group, right? So as leaders, we have to set the example. Monkey see, monkey do. If monkey no see, monkey no do, right? So we have to set the example. If we want our, if we want our partners to, to do, we have to be the first in doing. If we don't do, you can't say... Oh, I want you to do this. No, 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 it doesn't work. They won't do, right? People like to follow somebody, but in order to follow, that means that you have to be the first person doing it. Then they follow, right? So it's important for us to really have our hands involved in the commitment side. We, we have to commit ourselves to the business, right? How many, how, how many of you in here? can say I have a, like a hundred percent commitment. I am 100% on board. This is the business for me. I'm not looking anywhere else. I have no plan B. I've only got a plan A, right? How many of you guys see the Atomy business as such? I do. Okay. It's that kind of passion that is required to be able to succeed in this business. You must be super passionate. You must believe what you're selling. People can smell fakeness, falseness. If you are not 100% sold on what you're selling, you'll never be a top salesperson. You'll never thrive in what you're doing if you don't believe in what you're doing. So that's one of the most crucial things. And if, you, if you're if you not 100% convinced, talk to your sponsor, talk to your leader, talk to your upline. Say, you know what? Hey, I have my doubts on this. I've had a lot of those conversations and people tell me and then I say, and I realize, you know what? It's because you haven't understood yet. And I'm able to explain it to them and they go, oh, Okay, so so I get it now. Now now it makes sense, right? So nobody said that this that this you know business or our growth in this business was going to be a, a walk in the park, right? Nobody said it was going to be a walk in the garden and we we're going to see unicorns and and it was going to be perfect, right? No, there's a process, right? There's a process that we go through, but the end result is going to be worth it. Right? There's a price to pay, and that's a sacrifice that we pay up front. Okay? There's a reason why, even from a general standpoint, right? they, they call them the two percenters. The two percent, two percent of uh, uh, globally are the ones that are obviously the richest and hold the biggest amount of wealth. Right? Now, I'll tell you, you know, I'll give you a little secret. A lot of times in any business, it's usually the two percent that actually generates the amount of wealth or results in a lot of businesses, a sales job, in a lot of other company jobs. And you wanna know why? Because not everybody is willing to put in the work necessary to be able to obtain the results. That's why I go back to discipline and commitment because you know what? Everybody in here that I see from uh, from Kang Yong 
Kelly, Marlene, Julissa, Jeff, Daniel, Sylvia, every single one, Estela, every single one that's in here has 100% the capability and the capacity to be able to get all the way to Imperial Master and make a million dollars. Without without a doubt, 100%, I will tell you, you have the capability, you have the know-how, you have, you have the character, you have the personality, you have everything. The only thing that you have to apply is discipline and consistency. And one of the biggest things that I would encourage you to do is stay in constant contact with your sponsor. Stay in constant contact because you know what? It's natural that we're going to go through things. I do the same thing. There's been times when I've gone through certain situations that have been difficult for me. And, you know, my my, spon my sponsor, my, my upline that I always rely on is Sam Yoon. And I always tell him, say, I'm going through this. And Sam always has something. He always has a word of encouragement to be able to give me. And it helps me. We're all human, okay? None of us are supermen. We all need each other. The biggest mistake that we can make is to disconnect ourselves from the team or to disconnect ourselves from our sponsor because that's like the gasoline that we need. If we're running low on gas, right? They're able to give us that gas, okay? So a lot of these things, they fall under, I encourage you, if you, if you haven't reviewed lately, the eight uh, habits of successful people, right? That 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 uh, Imperial Master Dogu Lee uh, did. As part of that, it's not just sharing the message; it's also referring back to our sponsor, right? Reporting back and talking to our sponsor. What does that create? It creates accountability. If nobody is holding me accountable, then I'll just be like, "Ah, oh, I didn't do it today. Oh well," <laughs> right? But if I tell my, if I tell somebody I'm accountable, look, my goal is I want to be able to, uh, I want to be able to register two new people every day. That's my goal. Yeah. So I'm telling you because I want you to hold me accountable. So at the end of the day, you tell me, did you, where are you at? Do you have them? What are you doing? We always need somebody to hold us accountable, especially if you have come from being used to being an employee. Okay. And I will, I will recommend this 100%. If you are used to being an employee, you've never done your own business, most people are used to being told what they need to do, okay? They're used to having a boss. So us as sponsors, we are not bosses. We are guides, right? We guide people. But it is our part to be able to be there, to guide, to encourage, to motivate. Because as humans, we are emotional beings, so one day we may wake up and be sad. One day we may wake up and be happy. One day people may wake up and be upset. I don't know. Many, many emotions, right? This is why it's important for us as leaders, as people that have people that we are registering, right? To be in constant contact because we don't know. Today they may be, you may have talked to them today and they're happy. And then you call them Wednesday or Friday and they're sad, Right. So we have to be in constant contact. But the biggest thing that I want to leave you with, and I'll leave you with, with this note, is I saw in a very short period of time by implementing consistency and discipline, okay? Without fail. I don't care if it's raining outside. I don't care if there's thunder outside. I don't care if there's a tornado outside. I mean, I live in Texas, so there's tornadoes down here, right? I don't care if there's a tornado outside. If I said I'm going to do something, I am going to do it. That is commitment and discipline. No matter what, I cannot fail. There's no plan B. That is commitment. So when we do that and we work with that level of commitment, you know what? I saw explosive results in my, in my beginnings because of that. When I first started, it was sales master, diving master. I started climbing a lot because of the fact that I, I was compressing time, a lot of time. And so I will encourage you. I don't. I don't know at what stage in the business you're at, right? Everybody's at different stages. But what I encourage you to do is number one, commit yourself to the business. Commit yourself to the business. You will not be able to achieve anything unless you have one hundred percent commitment. The great thing for you is that there are many examples of all ages of all countries, of all sizes, of people that have had results in this business by being committed to it. The second thing is you must be consistent. You must be consistent, right? 
if we want a pot to be able to boil the water, you have to leave the water hot. You have to leave the fire hot and on on high until it reaches that temperature. If you turn the fire off and you turn it on and you turn the fire off and you turn it on, it's never going to boil. All you're going to do is spend a lot of money on gas. Okay. This business is the same. Don't waste time. Stay consistent. Period after period. So if you reach, if you reach a certain goal this period, right? Push yourself the next period. Push yourself, even if it's by a little, right? The biggest thing that I try to encourage people is progress. It doesn't matter if it's by one point. It doesn't matter if it's by five points, but let your last period or let your current period be better than your last. That's growth. That's growth. And so I, I encourage you is stay consistent. Once the plane takes off, it's easier to, it's easier to elevate. The plane's flying. It's not on the ground. So it's easier to elevate once you're flying. The most difficult part is taking off. That's the hardest part. Okay. And you'll even see, you'll hear, you'll hear Chairman Park say, uh, when you get to auto sales master, you've gone 80% of the way there. There's a reason why. It, and it fits exactly the same. When you are consistent and you get to the point of takeoff, then the rest starts to become easier. Okay. So I want everybody that's here, including myself, I include myself in this. I want us to be able to get to our goals as quickly as possible. Right. I'm sure nobody wants to take a long time to get to their goals. Everybody wants everything now. Right. So in order for us to get to where we need to get and where we want to get, we have to do, be able to put in the work and we have to be consistent. So Put a plan together, work with your sponsor and tell them, hold me accountable because my goal is I want to register people every single day. I want to be able to get, I want to be able to recommend the products and see sales every single day. And I want you to hold me accountable because I'm going to do the work every day. I'm going to open my store every day, right? So I want you to keep me in line. So I really encourage you. Um, I just want to share a little bit of, of, of how I perceive the business, a little bit of my heart and how I see the vision of this business. Because realistically, it is not difficult. It's simple. It just requires effort. That's all it requires. If you can invest a little bit of effort, you can completely change your life. And I'll tell you that uh, in a very short period of time, I've been able to fully enjoy the benefits of Atomy. And we're not done here. But the thing is that if I can do it, and that was coming from a period of being broke, I'm telling you, every single one of us can do it. We have the most amazing opportunity. And we have the most amazing company that actually cares about people at its core, above a profit. They rather give us the profit, right? And then focus on people. And that's the business model that this company has. So I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity for allowing me to share. And uh, and well, thank you, Osuk and, and David for, for, the, uh, for the invite, okay? I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sharon Great Rose. Master. Um, that was such an amazing testimony. Thank you so much for sharing um, with us. Um, definitely extremely uplifting and such a positive motivation for all of us. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions for Alfonso? <laughs> I don't have any questions, but that was great. It's everything that I was thinking. Uh, I want to say something to him, Alfonso. Alfonso, I know uh, when you say something about how we can push yourself, you know, sometimes uh, in myself, I talk about by myself. Sometimes when you stuck, it's like when you run it, right? And you stuck right in the middle when you're driving and you don't know reason why, but some something is they they push you to do it. So I feel in my business and my situation, sometimes I feel like I'm stuck. And I say, why? So I have a lot of passion. And one thing that I learned, and this week I show Osu, I put this one, I don't know, so you can read. You see it? Yeah, that's I can exactly, see it. That's exactly what you say today. Determination, discipline, and passion. I was reading every single day by myself because like you say, sometimes I wake up like I don't want to do anything. Tomorrow I don't want to, you know, bad mood. I want to cry. I want to do that, that. You know what? I need to concentrate more. That's the most important. And also, one thing that I can say, communicate. Mm -hmm. 
to all of us. Thank you, Alfonso, for everything for tonight. Does anybody else have any more questions or comments? A hundred people comments? a day. Okay, Jeff. I I just I find that amazing. A hundred people a day. I said that is, to myself. That is such a, a high number for a goal to set for yourself. It just seems like, how can I ever do this? I mean, you, it seems like you'd have to have so many connections to to, to get to a hundred people a day. That it just amazes me. What do you, you think, Afonso? You know what the great thing is. So. From a personal standpoint, you have to remember when I started the the business, it was during COVID. I couldn't personally talk to 100 people a day, right? Or have that personal interaction. But the great thing is that when I started, right, what I had at my disposal was social media. And I have millions of people at my disposal on social media. Okay. So through that, when I first started, I started with social media. I started posting. I started and I started talking to 100 people a day. I would get a hundred comments a day based on the message that I was putting out. Now that was great during the pandemic. Okay. It was awesome during COVID, but once COVID restrictions started easing off the way to do this business, Jeff is in person. That is the easiest way. It is the most effective way to do this. Now you can do both. I say, great, have a fishing rod out here and have a fishing rod out here, right? Do both. But in my opinion, Personal is the most effective way. And one of the ways that a lot of uh, that a lot of the leaders have been instructing us on how they touch 100 people a day is by lead, by literally going out, right? And sort of creating routes. Like we all know that there's, of course, sure, there's Walmarts and big box stores, right? Out there. But there's a lot of mom and pop shops. There's a lot of small business owners out there, right? So what, what those leaders would do is they would go in door by door and just go in and be like, hey, have you heard of Atomy before? Hey, I'm a representative of Atomy. Have you heard of this before? Great. Let me tell you about it. And they would just share. Why would they go to stores? They would go to stores because they knew where they were going to find the person every day. Mm -hmm. couldn't, they, couldn't, they couldn't escape, right? So these aren't random people that you're giving out flyers to. No, you're creating a route and you're going in your, because you can always go back. So what would they do? They would create a route. And 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 one of the uh, one of uh, one of the crown masters was saying she goes takes about three to four hours to do on a route, right? So yeah, they were investing three to four hours of their day going out on a route, establishing contacts, and out of that getting consumers because you have to understand that the value isn't just in the one. The value is the one person, but you have to understand that that person has family, friends, neighbors, contacts, and they are a network of of people. So sometimes just getting one person, you've just gained access to another 150. If you get three people, you're like, I only have three. Great. You have access to about 500 people from those three. Right? So the key is not to focus on, ah, I need all these people. No, focus on one. Because that one is going to have the contacts that, that you need. And this business is a network marketing business. It's going to expand based off of recommendations. And so what is our, what is our job? as simple as getting people to, to try the product. Because once they try it, they love it. What do you do naturally when you like something? You recommend it, right? You go to a good movie, what do you tell your friends? Oh my gosh, you gotta watch that movie with Jennifer Aniston, it's so great, right? The studio never paid you a single dime for recommending that movie, right? You go to a good restaurant in the corner, and of course you tell your buddy, oh, hey John, you know what? Oh my gosh, they have the best steaks at that place. You gotta go try it out. Did the restaurant cut you a check? No, absolutely not. So we already do, we already recommend naturally, right? The difference is we're going to get paid for it now, okay? We're actually going to make money off of that by simply recommending what we already like. So people will naturally do that. And that's how this business takes off. But we got to start recommending. Thank you. That was better than I ever could have expected. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. I think Kelly had a question. Kelly, no, I'm sorry, us. I can't see any of the hands that are going up. Okay, Kelly. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. I just made a couple notes here. First of all, I'm just so impressed and grateful. That was the first time I saw someone really give a whole vision speech without any slides that was absolutely captivating, that was from the heart, that had so many golden nuggets. So mm. I'm just so impressed. Thank you so much. It was um, uplifting, but some of the notes that I wrote down all the way from you starting with consistency and planting seeds. Um, you did it in a compression of time, but the one-liners I loved were my store is my mouth. It's up to us, take action. It's similar to a franchise model. Developing your own discipline and personal growth, I truly believe that's the nail on the head. You know, feeding your mind every day with positive because the world drags you down and the day can beat you up. Um, your life scenario and your why. It's so fascinating. That's exactly what happened. You hit a goal and then you're like, oh, I can relax, but it's time to set the new goal. Um, in one of the things I had always written down was um, on the life scenario, you know, I progress as being a leader servant. So, you know, a leader servant is the ability to lead and, and offer while you serve. And um, that was very touching. We do have the products. We do have the channel. Our, our competition is the giant distribution hubs. We, we, our po product is the star. And our, um, I loved all the plane analogies and um, the takeoff, the momentum being in the aerospace industry for the last 43 years. So the engineering part was right up my alley. <laughs> so I thought you gave incredible um, examples that everyone could understand. And I'm, I'm grateful that you came and spoke with us tonight. You, you motivated me and pointed out a few areas that I need to take my own inventory in and improve on. So thank you. Somebody, somebody Laura, hands up Flora Lopez Stamesta. Jamie cannot oh, hi. see. Hi, good evening. Uh, I just wanna wanna say thank you to Alfonso. I came in late, but um, I just can't see. Somebody told me that he was a great person. That he was very humble, and I can just reaffirm that. He, Alfonso, you have such a great heart. I can tell by your words. And I mean, Aramie needs exactly these kind of leaders. If we can be these kind of leaders, I mean, you, you're you setting the example right here, like, because I can tell that you are not looking at what you're gonna make, but uh, what other people can do with your help. So thank you for the speech and uh, thanks for having a great heart. Just keep the good work. And I know you're gonna be great. You're already great, but, um, God knows that you're doing the right thing. And I know Mr. Hangel Park would be, is probably, is probably very happy with you. Uh, and um, keep inspiring us. Thank you. I have a question. Okay, okay go, go ahead. ahead. Hi, Alfonso. My name is Kathy. And um, I have no problem recruiting. It's very, very simple to me. But I was wondering, um, what are your approaches or your best approaches and what do you use to get the guys coming in? I have a lot of women in, and it's hard for us sometimes to get the men interested. So, like, what do you use, and how do you go about getting men interested? That's a great question, Kathy. That's a great question, because I want to say the majority of my team are women. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, it, it, well, it, actually, in this business in general, the majority tend to be women. Okay. Now, what... What has worked for me as an example, my my male leaders that I have, that I now have, obviously nobody starts off usually as a leader, right? They develop into that, they grow into that, but most of them um, are very drawn to sales, at least my guys, okay? And they're Hispanic, they're Latino, they're Colombian, they're Mexican, they're, they're, they're very much into sales. So that has more of it to do, like, you know, they're they're more focused on like the money side of things. Whereas what I love about the majority of women is that it's like they have a lot of the heart into it as well. And sometimes it's a little bit harder for me to get my guys into that. Okay. Um, 
you know, they're used to just making money and hustling. But um, one of the strategies that I love implementing, and this is what we do across the board, is, for example, I have some women that do like, um, oh my gosh, what is it called? Not Taibo, Zumba, right? So what, I have some girls that what they do is they get a Zumba instructor, okay? They'll pay the Zumba instructor and they give a free class. That usually draws a lot of women. So they get a free class and what they do is they give every single member that attends the class pure tea. Okay. They give them pure tea. They give them samples of vitamin C and they have product displayed there. It doesn't cost them a single dime. The team is footing oh. the bill for that person. But what is it that we need in this business? Audience. Okay. We need to deliver a message. We just need people to hear us. So that methodology, great for bringing in women. Okay. What I think works here, which I did one time early on, I didn't continue it, but there's a website called Meetup. I don't know if you guys are familiar with meetup.com. I heard of it. Okay. Meet, Meetup is a group or interest-based group website. So if you like cycling, if you like riding bicycles, that you could probably find a bicycle group in your area that gets together to go ride bikes, right? If you like sewing, you can probably find a sewing group in your area of other like-minded people that do that. So I use that in the beginning and Excellent. I did it. With, okay. So there's business groups where you meet other entrepreneurs. Okay. Those are great places for like, to be able to recruit men. Okay. Guys. Yeah. yeah. Because they're already thinking in the, in the business mindset. That's been from my experience. So I look to how I can involve myself in other groups. Right. So I purposely, as an example, like my kids, they they like sports, but I purposely stick them in sports because yeah. that makes me take them to the community center and I'm going to meet other parents. And every season yeah. I meet other parents and it gives me exposure. So you have to be intentional too. Right. We have to be intentional. We can't be like, oh, I, I never come across people, but we never get out of our house. No, like you have to put yourself in situations, right. To be able to meet people and, and, and new people. So, um, I think just putting yourself out there, but I would definitely check out Kathy uh, meetup.com because it's interest space. And there's so many interests that you could just join part of that and you'll tap into whatever audience you want. I'm joining right after this meeting. That's such a great <laughs> I definitely am. Wow. So what do your guy friends like the most? Like I know that I tell the guys about the saw palmetto. I give them the ginseng. Um, I love the, I call it homie. I know it's home, but the homie all in one, they love that. Um, I don't yeah. know things to, I mean, some guys are into their skin and stuff, but it's Not hard usually. to just like, yeah. So it's like, what do you give a guy? Uh, honestly, the majority of guys like the, like the saw palmetto. Okay. A lot yeah. of my younger guys don't really care for it. I could tell them about it and they just don't. Right. My older yeah. gentlemen do. Okay. Yeah. So, so it, it all depends on the audience that I'm talking to or I'm, I'm directing myself to. Right. So I may have a direct supplemental something that I see from like, let's say a, a younger male group, right. Is yeah. I push a lot the energizing all in one. Okay. The, 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 the cream, because guys don't like steps, right? right. So the energy all in one is a great product. The um, all in one shampoo. Okay. Excellent. Yep. So those I like, especially because the that shampoo has a, an amazing smell scent. It smells oh, yeah. so good. Okay. Yep. So I get a lot I, rid of a lot of those. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, you know, those are like, as an example, two products that come right off the top that I recommend. But I tend to notice that a lot of the guys will do a lot of the supplements, right? Yeah. So like things like vitamin C, like your omegas, because usually these are things that they're seeing when they're walking in vitamin shop especially if they go to the gym, like these are terms that they're already used to hearing. So when you drop omega-3, right, or you're dropping uh, probiotics, they've already, they're used to hearing this. So it's a much easier transition from GNC to Atomy because right. they're already taking it. So it just depends well, on who your audience is. So what is it called? Meetup.com? Yep, meetup.com. I'm going to go investigate that. Hey, you guys, I'll have like 10 guys in next week. <laughs> <laughs> How'd we get David Choi in? <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. So, where's that? Uh, J 
Jamie. I think uh, Jamie would in a kit. So I think uh, this is a nine oh five right now. So we need to you know, wrap it up. If you wanna one point one more person, if you wanna share what you wanna say to him, comment. You know, just simple thing. If you wanna if you cannot say right now, if you cannot go to sleep tonight, those person raise your hand and then <laughs> say out. Say out. Say out for the yeah, she's back in here. So if not, then Jamie, what do you want? You want me to give you Santa news if nobody want to say, but I want to hear one more person. All right. Is there anybody else that want to comment about tonight? I would like to say something else to our point. So, aquí tenemos personas que hablamos español también. Eh, algunos que no, pues, están aquí, pero estamos casi todos aquí escuchándote y es un placer conocerte también esta noche. Is it, is it glad to meet you? And I'm so happy about, you know, what you say. Um, I would like to put in practice, believe it or not, but it's really important to me in this vision tonight, you know, for me. And thank you again. Gracias, Marlene. Igualmente, estoy al servicio para lo que necesiten. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, 